The first thing we do is connect the Carly for BMW. Locate the OBD2 port, which is underneath the dashboard. Might be all the way over the brake pedal, right down here, or it might be on the side, on this A pillar right here. In this case, it's right in this corner here. We'll connect the adapter and that's the OBD2 port and this adapter has an on and on off switch so you make sure that it's turned on down there the next thing we do is turn on the ignition and that allows the OBD2 um, adapter to get power once the scanner is plugged in what we need to do is go into the Play Store and uh, download Carly for BMW And you'll need a pro version it costs around $60 um, for the pro version and uh, in this case we have already purchased and installed it so we'll go ahead and open the app there's a new Carly update we'll skip it for now right down here at the bottom press connect then we'll need to select the BMW chassis that we have in this case it's an E60 and the year 2006 okay. press connect again then we go to Bluetooth it requires permission to Bluetooth press yes right now it's turning on Bluetooth and before we can use the app we need to pair the adapter with our phone so what we'll do is we'll go to settings and we'll go to connections, Bluetooth. Now it's searching for a new device. And there Carly adapter is available. Enter the code 1234. Let's see that works. And that is paired. If one, two, three, four doesn't work, you can try four zeros. We go back and we find the Carly for BMW. Now here we press connect again. And then Bluetooth ready and it's communicating with the adapter. Next we press connect. At this point we can turn on the engine. If you're going to be connected to your BMW for a long time doing a lot of troubleshooting, it's better to have a secondary uh, 12 volt, uh, volt source connected to your battery. Otherwise, you're going to drain the car battery and you'll have a hard. You'll need to jump start the car. Okay, now we're connected. Okay, we press go. Next, we go to Diagnostics, press continue to Diagnostic, and to troubleshoot the SRS, the airbag, we'll just go click on airbag and start Diagnostics. Here once the scanning is complete, what you need to do is click on show folds and you can select which control unit you want to see the fault codes for. In this case we want to see fault codes for the airbag control unit. Right over here on the side, 
we have a list of codes that are stored in the airbag control unit and the first one is the um, passenger seat mat that's the one of the most common problems that BMWs have and uh, one of the main reasons why a lot of times your airbag light will come on so you can select them all up here select all or just none and then once you do that press clear hit OK And clearing is complete now the problem is that if you did not replace the passenger seat mat for example and you just hit clear codes what will happen is that the next time you restart the car the codes will come right back on so it's important to fix the problem and then go ahead and um, clear the codes